All right, the kidneys, they do a whole lot, more than you would think. And one of the things they're in charge of is actually helping produce blood. That's why when people develop kidney disease, they oftentimes at the same time develop anemia. And anemia management is one of the most complex and expensive parts of kidney care. On today's episode, the kidneys and anemia. What's up, San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Button. I'm a kidney doctor, and I'm here to break down health in a simple way. Now, do me a favor, hit, hit up that like, share, and subscribe button. It'll really help me out. So let's go through some basic definitions. Now, the amount of blood or red blood cells you have in your body is typically defined by two metrics, hemoglobin and hematocrit. Normal hemoglobin in men is typically between 13 and 16, and in women, between 11 and 15. Normal hematocrit in men is between 44% and 50%, and normal hematocrit in women is typically between 36% and 44%. When hemoglobin or hematocrit fall below these normal ranges, it's said that you are anemic or have anemia, meaning a low blood count. So why are people with kidney disease prone to becoming anemic? Well, for two reasons. One is the inability to absorb iron, and two, th they lack the hormone to produce blood. As kidney disease progresses or gets worse, typically when you're kidney disease stage four, five, or if you're on dialysis, you lose the ability to do both of those. Let me put it this way. If I myself were to eat, say, iron-rich foods like um, red meat or spinach, I would absorb that iron directly from the food into my bloodstream, no problem. But people with late-stage kidney disease lose this ability, they can't do it. Even taking oral um, iron supplements won't work that well. Oftentimes, people with late-stage kidney disease require IV iron. That's right, liquefied iron that goes in a needle directly into your vein. So the other issue is that the kidneys actually secrete a hormone that help you make blood. It's called erythropoietin. Now, as the kidney disease progresses or gets worse, your kidney's ability to produce this hormone goes down as well. So when people are in late stage kidney disease or on dialysis, they actually acquire shots of these hormones called ESAs, erythropoietin stimulating agents. And then, and in fact, this is one of the most expensive aspects of kidney care, but it's so much needed for our patients. Now, if the hemoglobin drops below say 7.0, this is the point where you have to consider giving that patient a blood transfusion, which will oftentimes require a hospitalization which in turn can be both expensive and time consuming. So to help monitor the health of our kidney disease patients, we routinely get blood draws to check for hemoglobin, hematocrit, and iron levels. In kidney disease patients, the goal of anemia management isn't to get their hemoglobin back to normal, rather it's to keep the hemoglobin above 10.0 as your best marker. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. Oh, you got something to say? <laughs> Leave comments in the comment section below. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.